Good morning guys, hello and welcome back to a new M Weekly. I have a very exciting, very busy week ahead, so I just got back from a trip to Malaga. You may have seen my last vlog, if not, it will be on my channel linked. I just went there with some friends, one of them was working, I was not, I was just there living my best life, which was really nice, not working on a trip for a change. So now I'm heading out for a busy day of meetings. I have first a gifted breakfast event with Neutrogena um, to learn a lot about one of their new ranges that I've actually already been trialing. As you guys know, I work with Neutrogena. This is not sponsored, this is just me heading to an event and I'm very excited to head over there and check everything out. I have a coffee meeting, then I have a lunch meeting at the really, really famous Big Mama group in London that I've never been to. But my Addison Lee is currently running late, so I've just had to already have breakfast, so I'm having a double breakfast today. Then, um, what else am I doing? I've got a few more meetings. I'm going to do a gifted Cobots class, then I'm going to come home. And this week I have lots and lots of stuff on, so I can't wait to take you with me. Wearing this little headband. In all honesty, it's because I just haven't washed my hair, because I'm just greasy. I need to unpack from Malaga, but I got back ridiculously late, so I just needed to sleep, so... Let's go to the meetings. Yeah, and look at my jumper. Because I was meant to be on a ski trip, not in Spain. I got this for it and I'm li literally obsessed. It's so cute and bobbly. got here an hour late but it's all good I was to the taxi driver we're alive it doesn't matter so I'm just having a facial and we are going to use the new clear and soothe range as I say I work with Neutrina but this part of the vlog is not sponsored I'm just here on a little gifted event look how nice I actually took this to Malaga with me it's very good I'm excited to have a little facial now So yes, it was a very busy day of meetings and events, and then I took Matt over to a Cobox class. I had a little gifted Cobox class. Matt paid for himself to do two sessions, so he's got one that we can hopefully redeem on a weekend. And then last night he did his first Cobox class, and he loved it. I take him to Blaze, so I wanted to show him what our Cobox was like, and he absolutely loved it. We were so tired. I had so much work to do when I got home, and didn't do any of it because I was just too tired. So now I am heading to Puppy Yoga. Yes, you heard that right. Puppy yoga with a brand called Dear Delilah. It's a gifted press event and I am so excited that I've been invited. I just cannot wait to see what is going down. I'm wearing the jumper that I was wearing yesterday with these leggings. And yeah, I'm going to jump over there now. It's about an hour away, so I've got a very exciting phone call en route. And then let's go and see what this is about. Oh my god, I literally have been waiting my whole life for this moment. I'm so excited. Oh they're really good for travel. Yeah. This is so cool. Oh my god, I love the packaging. Korea's leading vegan. Beauty wow, brand. this packaging um, is literally packaging stunning, is, isn't it? Obviously, we'll go home with a selection to try. How incredible! Um, they're all unique, and they just launched like end of last year. Okay. <laughs> He's desperate for one. He's like, please bring them all. <gasps> Look at them. Hello. <laughs> oh, they want to play. <laughs> I can't. 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 I can Taking a few stretches here. Bend. Hi. 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 that heels into the twist. Hello. In the front of the mat is crossing the ankles. So then we can then come and sit onto the ground. Let's have a look. We found the best one. This dog is so sleepy. He's so cute. He's very heavy compared to the others as well. I'm assuming it's the other one. He's so heavy and sleepy and it's so cute. 
I'm with Danielle, by the way. We're living our best life. Of course, you're with me again. <laughs> always with her. Unfortunately, not in Barbados, but it's actually would be better than Barbados. Oh, oh, do you want to swap? Do you want to see Danielle? Yeah, you want to see Danielle, don't you? Come on, then. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, cuties. Are you sleepy? <laughs> I'm back. I'm exhausted. That was probably the best thing I've ever done in my life. Thank you so much to dear Delilah for inviting me to that event. That was just insane. So dear Delilah are a prestige vegan brand and that's why they invited us to literally just cuddle pops the whole afternoon. I don't think much yoga was done. I don't think I did much yoga and Matt and I are really looking to get a dog. It's just not something we can do right now because we travel a lot so my mum may be getting one and I don't know, we'll share, I don't know. We'll look into the logistics and that just made me want a dog even more. I showed Matt, Matt was like, oh my god, that's the coolest thing ever. Um, it was amazing. So I'm going to show you some of the products and the idea is that they have all the puppies in the room and people do yoga with them and they're like puppies that it's kind of brings them into communicating with people before they're going to the, their forever homes, which is very cute. Oh my God, it was the best event ever. Thank you so much, Dear Delilah. I got a little bottle with Dear Delilah branding on from Quartz Cull that they gifted me. Quartz Cull, literally the most insane bottles ever. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah, I did no yoga, but that was the best thing ever. I'm on such a high. You can get Dear Delilah products on Feel Unique. And oh my goodness, look at the packaging. Not only did they allow us to do puppy yoga, they also have the most divine products. This is a blush, and honestly, it's insane, look. It's in like a little, look. Oh my goodness, and this, when they showed me them when I arrived, I was like, oh my God, I don't think I've ever seen a prettier lip product. So I'll link that below if you want to check out the brand. Good morning guys. Still not over the puppy thing. Literally everyone I've met today in meetings has been like, oh my God. So it's Friday. So happy that it's Friday. I'm really excited for the weekend. I am heading for a meeting at Dishroom High Street Kensington with some lovely clients of mine. Very excited to chat. And Dishroom is one of my favorite places for breakfast. So I love it when people are like, do you want to go to Dishroom? I'm like, yes. Um, and then afterwards, I'm going to head to David Lloyd to get changed. And then I'm going to Pilates Squad for a Pilates class. The founder emailed me and asked if I'd like to come, so she invited me. So I'm very excited to go to a nice little session that they've kindly gifted me. And then I'm going to head home, get on with loads of work, and go to the gym. So yeah, it's a busy day. I need to cram in lots of work. But first things first, breakfast. I've got my 10,000 steps in, heading here. And then a nice reformer Pilates class, which honestly, it burns so much. Pilates Squad is very very good. So if you're in South Ken, you need to try it. Right, let's go. The latte's done, really good. Really sweaty, it's like really nice small movements, but it burns so much you feel it like in your bum so much. So now I'm going home, I'm going to do lots and lots of work and then get ready for a nice evening tonight. Good morning guys, it's Sunday, happy Sunday, I've got a little our hairstyle going on. Um, we've just had a lovely weekend of lots of work and seeing friends and I'm very full um, from the weekend but I just did a co box class. Now I'm heading out to the Four Seasons Hotel Park Lane in Mayfair. They kindly invited me to go to their brunch so I'm very excited. They've gifted me this lovely little brunch. They've got this new brunch so I can't wait to try it. It's on on Saturdays and Sundays and I'll let you know how it is. We're excited! Oh yes, we've also done a lot of stuff this weekend that I couldn't show on camera, sorry. Um, I'll hopefully fill you up in like soon, maybe a month, maybe six months, who knows. But I'm keeping a few things very private, so let's see, let's go eat.
And just like that, we are home. Oh my goodness, the brunch of the Four Seasons is insane, right? Let me put my camera somewhere so I can tell you about it. Oh, the arms are aching. Oh, so, okay, so the Four Seasons Park Lane is in Mayfair. And I mean, so, so, so close for us to get to, which is always very handy. When I say it was good, it was like, Matt, how good was it? It was so good. So you get two courses each from this menu and the menu hopefully you saw on the camera was so extensive i had shatsuka and then i had oh my god vegetarian gluten-free bolognese which tasted divine like it was insane matt had like a fritto misty kind of deep fried fish dish with salmon and eggs and then they have a live station so you can go to the live station and i think it changes like maybe once every week or every month. And you can go to the live station and you can also have things from there. And then they had loads of sides. So we had some spinach and Matt had some like potato puree. And then they have the biggest desserts table, which you will have also seen, which we also held ourselves to. And it was divine. So we were sat next to this guy and he was 90 and he sat down next to us. And it really just highlighted to me the service and the quality and the level of service in the Four Seasons, honestly. He basically like walked over and he could barely walk and the staff sat him down and he was like I'm 90 I just want a fillet steak and some champagne and he was like I know it's not on the menu but can you do it for me and they were like oh, I'm sorry sir it's just brunch and he was like yeah but I really want a fillet steak they did it for him he was so thrilled and anyway we had a, a three-way date it was myself Matt and him for literally oh my gosh we were meant to leave like three hours ago to come back and do work and we just were so like what's the word mesmerized by this guy his stories were fantastic he is just like super successful, lived his best life. His advice to us was, if you're as wealthy as I am and you've traveled as well as I am and you have your health, you should be happy. He was basically saying like he feels so blessed that he's never been unwell and he's always had his health and he said it's sad because his family died when they were 50 of cancer and he said, you know what? He said, what a waste of time that is. He said, you should just live your life and enjoy it. And honestly, like he was very unpolitically correct and like the stuff he said was like, very um i don't know what the word is but some of the stuff i mean he was a hilarious guy and jesus like he knew how to live his life he was living his best life so we ended up just staying with him for hours so now i'm gonna actually get the work done that i need to get done um so yeah that was divine like literally amazing the pastries the food the highest level of service and one thing as well one last thing um they're so good at dietary requirements i saw a girl next to me she couldn't have dairy and they were so good with her and they asked about like allergens and stuff i know a lot of my audience are like vegan or maybe you guys have specific dietary requirements i have to say if you want to go for like the most spectacular brunch of your life and you're in london that that was it so i am already wishing it was my birthday again because i would love to go there for my birthday with my family it's spectacular it's my first time going to the four seasons so thank you to them for having us and that is going on my london brunch guide it was out of this world i just made my healthier chocolate chip cookies there's some more another batch in here as well so i will leave the recipe below in case you want to make them they're super easy and super yummy and matt has asked for some so here we go we just got a Thai takeaway. I'm convinced we keep this Thai in business. The amount of times we order from it. Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh, it is so cold. It is freezing. I've got a really nice summer dress on with a Burberry scarf. And then this coat because it's the only thing that keeps me warm right now. So it's actually a beautiful sunny day outside. I've been outside taking pictures all morning. It's been one of those days. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so cold. Now I am heading over to an event with Joy Malone. They've kindly invited me over to a, a press lunch that they're hosting. I can't speak. Very excited. Then I'm heading to an event that I've been invited to where I'm having a massage with Dre Beats. And then I have a facial that I've been kindly invited to with Declio. So it's one of those very special, exciting, lovely days. So... I'm gonna head over to the Joe Malone event now and I'm gonna walk there, so get some steps in. There's so many familiar faces, but also to welcome some new friends to the Joe Malone London family. Um, it's my absolute honor to introduce the incredible Emsal who's our fragrance and lifestyle expert here at Dromo in London, who is going to embark on a journey through Lavender Land. Thank you so okay. much, Bea. Yeah, it's a huge, huge welcome. I'm absolutely thrilled to take you on a journey through Lavender Land, which is our pilot fantasy world, as you can see, which is 
all about purple pathways meandering across the countryside. I'm home, so I couldn't film any of my facial because it was very, like, I walked into the thing and I was, like, really late, so I had to just go and get it done. But this is my skin after my facial. Um, feeling very fresh. It was the Declior Glow and Smooth Facial, and she used steam on it, and it felt amazing. I think I fell asleep, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I really need to have more facials. I feel like I need to work on that because my skin is just very hormonal and not happy at the moment. Then on the walk home, I got some gales. Jo Malone have launched Lavender Land. Oh my gosh, it is so exciting. Look, so my personal favorite is this one, Silver Birch and Lavender. I actually think it's so sexy. It will be a great uni unisex fragrance. I think everyone thinks lavender is gonna be like quite strong um, and old ladyish, but it's really not. This is so sexy. Um, this is really nice as well with the coriander and this is a pillow mist, so home spray. They all smell very different to how I was imagining. So this is a limited edition collection, a fresh perspective on an iconic ingredient, English lavender. Yes, so this is available from March, so I'm super excited. I am going to whip up some dinner now and say goodbye, guys. So thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I will see you on Sunday for another video. Bye, guys!